Good morning, everybody. David here with VR Render. This is a much shorter video. I just want to go over uh, something to do with D5 that I think a lot of people don't realize, and that pertains to asset management within your own library. So here I am in Blender. I'm using a fantastic iMesh model bed. I'll try and link out to those guys. I did a video on iMesh assets uh, previously, but I'm in Blender and I'm going to go ahead and just hit the D5 converter and make sure that that's all ready to go. And so if you're new to the D5 converter in Blender, um, you're initially going to hit the sync button up here, and then you're going to, anytime you make changes, go ahead and click this export sync model. And that will send your content over to D5. Here we are in D5, and you can see the exact same model rendered in real time. And I can go ahead and spin the camera here and get a better look at this really fantastic iMesh asset. Now, what I want to talk about, though, is the asset library. A lot of people are aware of the fantastic D5 online asset library. So here you've got all the materials and models. We can get beds from here. We can get, you know, decorations, things like that. But you can also go to the local tab. And if we take a look at this bed model here, I'm going to go right to the Objects tab over here on the bottom left. I'm going to right-click on this, and I'm going to rename this, and I'm going to rename this um, iMesh Bed 1, and I'm going to hit Enter. And now we can see we've given it a unique name. What we're going to do then is right-click and Add to Local. Now, if we go up here to our Assets Library, so we go up to here. Now you can see by default, the asset library is obviously on the online library. If we click up here on the top left, local, here we are. And you can see now we've actually gotten our bed is now in the top left corner. I've actually have it set up where you could go ahead and just click on this icon and bring in the model again. Now, this is super, super useful. Um, and this applies to models from I'm using iMesh, but you could use Sketchfab, you could use Polygon, you could use basically 3D models from any source, bring them in and either set them up in SketchUp or set them up in Blender, like I did, send them to D5, or you can just manually import them into D5 using this icon up here, the import. You can assign materials and textures and do all the changes that you need to. And once you do that, just go ahead, right click, give it a unique name and add it to your asset library. And that means you'll have these models to use in future projects and truly can't emphasize just how good this actually is. Now, the second thing that I wanted to talk about is categories. By default, you can kind of see everything comes in under this all category right here. And you can see there's just a lot of stuff. I've got different models. I've got different objects. Now, if you want to organize this a lot easier, just go over to this section right here, find some empty space, right click and go new category. And once you have that done, you can go ahead and double click on it and just call it whatever you want. So I'm just going to call this one stuff hit enter and there we go. Now to get your basically your objects into that, it's, it's really easy. All you have to do is I'm going to right click here and what we can do is move to and stuff and confirm. There we go. You can also select these and right click and you can update the thumbnail. If you want to use a better thumbnail, you can customize it and you can rename. So there you go. I think it's a really great way to organize your assets. So for example, I have my landscape tab here. I have decorative elements and I have furniture. Um, okay, that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully that's a helpful tip. And hopefully it means you can start bringing in your own objects, your own models and start adding them to your scenes. Especially if you find decorative elements that you really, really, really like, this is a great way to hold on to them for future use. Okay. Uh, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, all right. Bye.